Hello, everyone. This is Papa Hector. I'm here to talk to you about a spirit. This spirit, his name is Gran Torolisa. Gran Torolisa is a powerful spirit. He's the king of the petrol spirits in La Ventuna División and in Sanse. And Gran Torolisa is a spirit that I have a lot of love and a lot of respect for. I wanted to discuss this spirit today specifically because after a very, very long time of searching, um, I went to the Botanica today and I happened to find a statue of Jesus de la Buena Esperanza, which is the image that we use for Gran Torolisa. And um, everything comes in the proper time, as they say. And I'm so happy to finally have gotten his statue for him, which is not an easy statue to get. And I just kind of came across it when going to Botanica to get other supplies for people. So, um, Gran Torolita is a misterio that I often saw in the head of my uncle or my godbrother. So it's a misterio that I'm very familiar with. And Gran Torolita, he manifests in a number of different puntos. One of those puntos is known as a punto de trabajar, or a punto of work, or a working punto. And that's the punto that I'm going to discuss. The other is uh, the punto petro, or the punto that's most commonly seen in ceremonies. So many times in ceremonies when one sees Gran Torolisa, they'll see and hear charges that people like a bull, because he's a bull. He's the spirit of the bull, and he's the spirit of fire, and of strength, and of virility, and of stability and of pushing through and breaking through obstacles. He's a very magical and a very powerful spirit. He's a spirit that I'm very lucky to know and very lucky to have in my life. And um, a spirit that I really love a lot. So this spirit, he manifests in this way when he comes in possession of people. Um, a lot of times when he's out of money, or if he has that fixed wire of the spiritual peace, it manifests like a bull. But also, the spirit manifests on a punto de trabajar. And punto de trabajar means a working point. So in this way, he comes and he talks to people and he gives them advice and helps them with their problems. Gran Torolisa is a spirit, like I told you, is a petrol spirit. And he's the king of the petrol spirits. Um, he's a spirit that can really help you if you're going through a situation where no matter what you do, it seems to be obstacles and blockages, Gran Toro Lisa is the spirit that helps you to break through any obstacles and blockages that are in your path. He's also a very good spirit to help men who are experiencing sexual problems, erectile dysfunctions, and other problems with their sexual organs. He's very good for men. Um, and he helps them with those situations. He's a lot that can help you with your health as well. In my god brother's head, I remember that Gran Toro Lisa often created concoctions, um, herbs that were steeped in rum, alcoholados, and things like that, um, to help people, um, which they could drink for their health and help them with their different health problems and situations like that. Gran Toro Lisa is also very protective. And he's a spirit that can help you get rid of your enemies, to be clear of your enemies, and so that your enemies do not overcome, but you can overcome your enemies. His color is red. And we often, we gave him, like in my societe, we know we give him red and green. His main color is red. And he's associated with uh, Jesus de la Buena Esperanza, which is uh, Jesus of Good Hope, I believe, in English. And he's a spirit that we also give to him beef to eat, and even though he's a bull. And when he comes and he talks to people, a lot of time he talks like in a rough voice, a rough kind of barley-like voice. He grunts. He makes sounds like a bull grunting and huffing and puffing a lot. Um, he can be quite, he can sometimes be violent, knock things around. He's been known to break things and things of that nature. But he's a very loyal spirit, very protective spirit. And Gran Torolisa was a misterio that 
when I was a young child, I was told about a story about Gran Torolisa by my grandfather, and this is the way that it, the story went, is that a lot of times back in the day, Toro, or Gran Toro Lisa, there's also Lua, the Misterio, que se llama, but then they call it Toro, which is associated with Gran Toro Lisa working together, okay? People used to put in Puerto Rico, they used to put Gran Toro Lisa or Gran Toro, or Toro, in their farms and their fields to protect it to protect people from stealing, from stealing their crops and things of that nature, or from stealing, you know, what they had planted. People would also put it to protect their animals. So they would put the spirit as a guardian over their crops or over their animals. Farmers would do this. It was a spirit that was easy for farmers to work with because that's like the type of area that Gran Dolorisa liked. So... One day, my grandfather and his friend decided that they wanted to try to hop the fence and steal this very, this farmer who had a very huge farm, uh, steal some of their corn. And he said that when they jumped the fence over to steal the corn, they grabbed all this corn as much as they could get. And all of a sudden, they noticed this red light coming from one side. So when they turned to see that red light, all they saw was like the sky was filled with fire and a huge red bull with red eyes running after them, charging after them. They said they ran so fast and they like tried to hop the fence so fast. My grandfather said he was so scared that the bull was going to get to him. So they had the vision of Gran Toro Lisa and Toro Lisa showed himself there protecting that man's farm. And so it was a spirit that a lot of times you know, um, my grandfather also had a lot of respect for it because he even had a little bit of fear of this spirit. It's not a spirit that you have to be afraid of if you're doing right, the right thing. Gran Toro Lisa is a petrol spirit. I know that some people can also have work with him and do work with him for negative things and in a bad way. Anything in the world can be used or work with in a bad way. Most things in the world can at least. And that doesn't mean that we should because we create energies that later, sooner or later are going to be around us. If we send out negative energies with somebody, we have to create those negative energies in and around us in order to send them. So it's still, we still bathe in it. Sooner or later, it's going to affect us anyway. But um, Gran Toro, that's Papa Gran Toro Lisa, Gran Toro, Gran Toro Lisa, um, one of my favorite mysterios. I hope you learned a little bit. And this is Papa Hector signing off. May God's light guide you, and may the mysterios and the loa, the spiritual guides, back you up and protect you. God bless.